and today I want to shoot a bow from the right side for the first time in my life. Uh, I often call the right side the wrong side because I always learn to shoot a bow from the left side, which is the Mediterranean style. But today I wanted to try and shoot the bow from the right side because apparently it's much faster if you're shooting the bow from the right side. And for this, uh, the company Mandarin Duck has sent me their new bow. This is the bow. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Pretty small horse bow, which is collapsible. So you can take this apart and in the middle you have this small stick here which goes into the bow like that and then you just connect the bow like this okay and this is your small horse bow which is called Forn and actually I don't have a bow that I can shoot from the right side so all of my other bows they are made for left side shooting and this is why I needed a bow for this project today and yeah this bow is pretty awesome it's made from very sturdy fiberglass all right, so for the uh, grip, they have sent me this um, middle part here and you just put this on here like that and then you close it like that. So here you have your grip and this way it's a little bit nicer to shoot. All right guys, so this is the bow, how it looks when it's strung. Pretty awesome and short bow, it only has 48 inches. And you really need a small bow if you are doing fast shooting or running archery like Charlie Greenberg does on YouTube. So yeah, uh, when they use this in war, they have shot horse bows off of horses, of course. And when you're riding and shooting off horses, you cannot have a really long bow because it does get in your way. So it's important that you have a short bow. So now I want to shoot the bow from the right side, which is completely new for me. And I've watched a couple of other archers on YouTube how they do it. The most popular one is Lars Anderson, but his technique is a little bit hard to learn. And also I don't want to hold the arrows in uh, my fingers because it's not so easy. And instead I want to hold the arrows with my left hand like this. Let's see what's the best technique here. I still have to shoot the bow. Let's see. Like that maybe? Yeah. And then I can take the arrow, like that, push it to the side, knock it on, and shoot it like this. So this is a, a very special grip. I'm not sure what it's called, but I saw it in the movie Robin Hood, and the last Robin Hood was trained by Lars Anderson, and he trained with this grip here. And the thing is on the arrow, so that it's pushed to the side. So you can even shoot the bow like this and the arrow doesn't fall off. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I can do it and how long it takes to reload and shoot. And I'm not going to uh, anchor too much in the face because anchoring takes a lot of time. And when you're sitting on a horse and you're always doing this, bouncing up and down, you cannot really anchor because it's going like that. So uh, I believe true horseback archery is not anchoring in the face. So you are holding the bow somewhere here. And of course, you're not going to be as accurate as if you are going to anchor in your face. All right. So now I try to shoot as fast as possible and accuracy is not a priority right now. Oh my God, this is so strange. I cannot even aim because the because the bow is in front of me. So this is not the most accurate style of shooting. It went to the right, okay. Ooh. I don't know. I have to get used to this bow. <laughs> All right, so I think what my mistake is, is that I have to do this with the bow, okay? But I want to take the grip off because it's moving a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. Woo, I got it. 
Oh my god, this is so strange, guys. And now a storm is coming. I found a storm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is hot. Yeah! Okay, so it's really hard to shoot a horse bow from the right side and I'm getting better with every try but it's still very hard and I'm still very slow at reloading. I think one reason for that is also because I have normal uh, knocks on my arrows and for faster shooting you can get very special knocks which are having a little bit of a cavity so that you can feel where the knock is without looking at the arrow and I think that's one reason why I'm still so slow. I gotta say that I'm really happy with the shooting picture so I'm getting more and more accurate with every shot that I'm taking with this bow here and I think that my learning curve is pretty good because actually it's the first time that I'm shooting this bow here and it's the first time that I'm shooting a bow from the right side so pretty cool the only thing that I have to work on is a faster reload so I still have troubles with getting the knock onto the string uh, very fast and that's taking most of the time yeah, anyways, this bow is pretty awesome and I really like that it's so collapsible. So if you want to get this bow here, which is called Thorn, then make sure that you check out the link in the description below, which will lead you directly to the website of Mandarin Duck. Okay, so this is it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next time.